Now let's dive into both uh, Marvel and DC are doing major event comics, right? What could be described as event comics? Marvel's is the more traditional event mm-hmm. comic, but they're, they're doing really big things with their major lines, and uh, we wanted to uh, talk about them a little. On the Marvel side, we have um, uh, Infinity Wars. Yes. Um, uh, plural, so it's different. And <laughs> then uh, DC is coming off of their No Justice uh, crossover into Justice League, and they just released the beginning of a, of a new arc that's really continuation of the story so far, but yeah. they're introducing um, their new and improved Legion of Doom. Yes, so you had DC Metal. If you guys read that, it was fun and... Popcorny and you know it's it. I'm not. That's not a criticism of it. It's very light and there's a lot that happens and they yeah. set it up in New Justice and now you're seeing all the backlash of that and and what they're dealing with and in the newest issue, uh, you're seeing this New Justice League, which is if you're a fan of the JLU and Justice League cartoon, this is the lineup plus Cyborg, which yeah. is great and I do like the way Scott Snyder and Tinian they. Uh, bring these characters to life because they all feel very distinct yeah which sometimes it's i get it you're in a team book sometimes people start you start to confuse whose personality is what yeah also superhero personalities are sometimes interchangeable uh that just happens mm-hmm. uh if it's a boy and he's pretty sometimes he's a womanizer and you're like that's kind of lame no and it's kind of lame that all of a sudden all of them are like that or they're a boy scout or they're like a commando but it's really cool how distinct they are in this book and while they deal with big ideas, if you want a really quick way of learning about a bunch of characters fast and see yeah. what they mean to each other, like their opposites, like Black Man to Aquaman or Gorilla Grodd to Flash or something, yeah. this book does a pretty good job of like explaining it to you. Yeah. Also, if you want like universe-spanning mystery where you're just like, oh shit, they might not be able to figure this out because like this is obvious it's a comic book they're gonna figure it out but it also it, it they do do a good job of showing like scale you which I do like do do, do. thank you yeah also uh, can I do a quick shout out uh, it, Danny Boy in the chat and this is why you guys gotta watch live on patreon.com slash only stupid answers uh, Danny Boy says uh, his daughters are reading Jupiter Jet from hey! our friends Jason Inman and Ashley V. Robinson that's a lovely and comic. they can't put it down sorry I needed to say that but what are yeah. your thoughts so far so uh, Justice League the, the new relaunch I have been kind of on the fence about it's beautiful the art team on it, it start, first issue was Jim Chung uh, yeah. Uh, oh, then it was great. Uh, Hor- uh, Jorge Jimenez. Jimenez on after that. Now it's Doug Mock, who's also amazing. Um, but it's been beautiful. But the I've I've been uninvested in the plot. Um, it's 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 maybe um, so big that I would have liked. They've introduced two out of what we find out in this comic is supposed to be seven concepts that are big enough to carry their own arcs. And I and I would have liked I, I I don't know maybe I'd like to spend more time with the team or maybe I'd like to spend more time with one of these threats as we build it up. It feels like we're just skipping to the and Avengers is kind of doing this too right now. They're skipping right to the big cataclysmic end game, mm-hmm. and it's just it, I, I'm having trouble getting invested. This issue um, I enjoyed a little bit more because we it's basically focused on Luther and they do some good stuff with Lex Luthor's. Uh, personality and they set up a perfectly Lex Luthor motivation for why he's launching this version of the Legion of Doom Mm. and his and his ways of getting the team together and on board and so far of this new run of Justice League this has actually been my favorite issue so far Mm -hmm. because it makes the most sense now because people were they set up Lex Luthor for two three years to be a hero and he was and it was a really cool character you can you know that characters are probably going to revert back to what the most popular version is eventually going to get their uh, trunks back always always. Uh, but I do I did enjoy what they did with Lex for a long time and it was cool to see him on this path but uh, and when they kind of reverted him back to a villain you're like what in the world happened it was one issue yeah. he was good and now, now he's not but now in this the way they explain it it's per- it's a perfect way to like get into his ego and yep. let it kind of like let this idea run wild and it would make someone who is so unstable like Lex turn into this yeah. and I, I dig it I dig what they have set up so I didn't um, pick up uh, Infinity Wars mostly because I avoid event comics mm-hmm. uh, in general. I've and read en- I've read enough of them. <laughs> Marvels uh, over the past few years have been a little extra rough. But yeah. you picked up Infinity Wars, so what were your what were your thoughts on it? Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the info really quick. What they've set up so far is that after Secret Wars, which is a big event of a couple years ago, the which Inf- was great. Secret Wars that was Jonathan Hickman and I think Assad Ribic did most of it. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a tremendous uh, a tremendous event comic. That was really good. What they've set up in this though is that the Infinity uh, 
uh, stones uh, have come back as uh, in different, they popped up randomly all over the universe and we have to figure out where they are and they all have different meanings and different abilities now, which I think is cool. They've all basically lined up now with what the MCU version of it is. So yeah. if you want to hop into an event that is not like Infinity War, but you get a similar like kind of, you feel the threat of it. Yeah. Uh, I would recommend Infinity Wars because uh, I'm excited for where it's going so far. Like a lot of... Uh, the stones are with our heroes, like Stephen Strange has one, Adam Warlock is back, you probably have at least heard of them, uh, Black Widow has one, uh, Crazy. Captain Marvel, uh, Star-Lord, and my favorite, Turk Barrett. And if you guys are a fan of the Marvel Netflix shows, you know Turk. Turk found one by accident. Like, it was, a, it was a car accident. Somebody else important had it. It fell, and he picked it up. It's the Mind Stone, so he can read people's minds. And nice. he's basically made an empire off of that. Of course he did. Yeah, because yeah. he is capable. But yeah. he was like, and if you give him something like that. And it's uh, in this first issue of the six-issue event. So it's very short. Like yeah. So it will take months to get there. Well, but. it took months to get here, so... So, yeah, you know. but uh, the art is beautiful. It's from Mike uh, Diodata. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty close with that one. Uh, and basically, it's just a meeting uh, between the heroes and Turk, but he brings like all Spider-Man villains to kind of like as yeah. backup, where they're trying to form the new Infinity Watch. Nice. And uh, the Infinity Watch from the comics is are people who watch over the uh, Infinity Stones and make sure people don't do something bad with them or like Thanos doesn't get them yeah. and the whole time uh, actually I don't want to get into spoilers too much because uh, I want you to read it and I think uh, I think you guys would be on board with it and there is a new villain if you can hear on the audio do you hear this if you can hear those air quotes that's air quotes new villain uh, who is hunting them down uh, who may have uh, stopped Thanos from getting too close to them yeah so, and then there might be a reveal on that first issue now Sam uh do can people start with this issue number one? I know there was a bunch of like tie-ins and stuff like that leading into it. Do you think you can start with issue one, or is there another issue you should start with? Man, I forgot there was like twenty to thirty other issues of things. Yeah. Like Dark Hawk got like nine different stories. Yeah, and then that... there was like Infinity Watch Prime Zero yeah. issue. Like, no, you're fine. You could pick this up and you could figure it out. I, I would. There was an Infinity Countdown or something like that that yeah. came out before that. Those are like four issues. Maybe consider reading that. That way you kind of figure out way, how people got these, yeah. which is interesting. Um, uh, my favorite, uh, like in the Infinity Stones, were hidden in certain places. Yeah. Um, and I love the way that they described how the Infinity Stones work, where it's it is uh, all of what that function of the universe is in one concentrated area. That like this has to exist in our universe for our universe to exist. It is our universe, and it and we are in the universe so you, too. You can't just destroy it. No. Yeah. It, you can't. It is a very important part, and so you need to be very careful when you have it. And my favorite version of that is our Reality Stone isn't kept in our reality. It's protected in an, in the reality adjacent to ours. So you need to figure out a way to reach over and grab it. And then in that same story, you see a different Captain Marvel come over and get theirs and leave. Like you can find the reality stone and once you do, it kind of signals the person next door like that like, oh, you can go over there and get yours. Interesting. But that doesn't mean it's easy to find and also that doesn't mean it's easy to traverse realities, but when Captain Marvel's carrying it in her comic, it allows her to see all possible futures of what she's doing. And so she's like, but what if I made that decision or that decision? It starts to kind of splinter really fast and they do a good job of showing that playing with these is not easy like you yeah. don't get like even if you have the space stone and you can like teleport like that doesn't mean you wouldn't wind up inside of a wall like yeah. you need to be really smart with what you're doing so uh you can pick that up with issue one if you want to see what's going on with justice league i would say you can pick up no justice and all that stuff i would say start with justice league number one because it's beautiful yeah. and it's so cool like martian manhunter has such a cool opening in that comic yeah and they'll explain the stuff you need to know also if you want to if you're interested in these events or maybe you want to check out already completed events mm. for justice league i recommend grant Morrison. Since JLA run, I also doesn't get talked about a lot. I would also see if you can find maybe Joe Kelly's JLA run because that's after Grant Morrison's and it is also very very good. Did that come out in the two thousands? Yeah, early two thousands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so and for Secret or sorry, I keep want to say Secret Wars, Infinity Wars. I actually recommend Jonathan Hickman's Secret Wars. Yes, and I also recommend. I think you can get on Comicsology for like five bucks the original Infinity War crossover because that'll that'll help give you some insight into the source material behind the movie we just saw I think so I think uh, for if you wanted to get into this here's my recommendation Secret Wars good because yeah. that's where you kind of saw where everything reset and then Jerry Dugan took over for Guardians of the Galaxy which ended to continue this story yeah. but it, I think it's only maybe 
10 issues, yeah. 12 issues. It's very short. Uh, and that sets up where we're going to this. And I think you could basically read that and then just get going into the Infinity War there stuff. It's pretty simple. But uh, out of both of those, I think as of right now, I am more interested in what Infinity Wars mm -hmm. it has to offer. And I'm wondering what the wars is. I think there might be multiple battles and I want to see how that is explored. And I like the way Jerry Dugan's been writing all the other characters. They're very distinct and I like his humor. When humor is introduced, but also the way he deals with the bigger Marvel cosmic stuff. Like he had the Grandmaster show up and he flew around inside of the, a giant cosmic goldfish and he would just go, go through the mouth and it was great. Uh, and I, while I am going to be picking up Justice League, I will say I am more excited for Infinity Wars. There there you, go. there you go. So those are uh, those are our our takes on these kind of bigger events that are going on. Uh, you can check out uh, my poll list mm -hmm. uh, when we do the Twitch show live. Please tune in. Uh, to patreon.com slash only stupid answers where you can watch this stuff live with us. You can listen uh, to an audio version of this podcast as well. And that's an option as well. There's other ways you can be a part of, interact, be a part of making this show happen with us. Again, live Thursdays, 4 p.m. on twitch.tv slash playnoggin is the live only stupid answers show where mm -hmm. we do news, some lifestyle stuff, gaming. Um, and then you can check out youtube.com slash only stupid answers for uh, pieces of that show that go up throughout the week. And also, we've got a new show coming up soon, a spinoff show dealing with one of, uh, talking about one of our most successful Patreon mm -hmm. shows that we did, a review show that we did that's kind of coming back in a new form. It is, and we're very excited to announce that. Check out our newest episode if you're watching this now. It should be the new podcast episode up at OnlyStupidAnswers.com. Yes. And there's a full uh, preview of what that entire show is going to entail with a very special guest who is going to be joining us uh, joining us along the way. Yeah. But I'm at Sam Basher Everywhere That Matters. This is DJ. Where can they find you? At DJ Talks Trash. Every place that matters. Again, everything about the show, you can go to OnlyStupidAnswers.com. And we really appreciate your support. We do. And if you guys like this show, let us know. And let us know what we should be reading. And if you end up picking stuff up, tag us in your Please. little mini reviews. Actually, I would love that. If you're part of the Discord community, I'll make a proper thread in there. And if you write mini reviews, we will read them on the show. Guaranteed. Promise. Cross my heart. Hope to die. But guys, we love you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.